This is an introduction to StripChart OPC, which is a program used to see real-time data from a PLC, a programmable logic controller. I'm showing here a blank OPC, StripChart OPC setup screen where there's a pen setup table, and each one of these pens would be a uh, connection to a PLC variable. So I'll show how this program is used to connect to a PLC and uh, select data. So I'll browse items. I happen to be already connected to uh, an OPC server. I'm using RS Lynx OPC server in this case. And I will browse through um, my topics. And each of these is an individual connection to a programmable logic controller over uh, our company network. So I'll pick this PLC connection and I will browse it online and it shows all the different uh, data structures in that PLC. I'll look for some program scope variables. Uh, right here in this folder, and I'll just double click a couple of um, PLC variables. So when I double click those variables, it adds them to the pen setup table. And so each of these are um, variables in the processor. So now I can scan uh, in real time, and uh, my interval is set for 200 milliseconds. You can scan maybe as quickly as 20 milliseconds, uh, depending on the bandwidth of your connection to the PLC. So now I'm uh, attempting to read the data from the unit, and there it is coming in live, um, NGP, NPT, and T5 average. So uh, we're seeing the data live. We can also view it in a plot screen. So I'll auto-scale around the data just by clicking that button and uh, viewing the data live. So not much happening in this case, uh, pretty much uh, flat line data, uh, which is nice, but uh, not very helpful for this demonstration. So now what I'll do is I'll open a file of some data I've collected uh, previously and show you what it looks like with changing process values. So this was a startup. We'll look at the uh, light off tab. Oh, and I have um, quite a few pens set up in different groups. I'll explain how the grouping works later. So in the fuel group, I have a number of different PLC variables with different labels. And uh, they're shown in this light off tab. I have uh, uh, maybe 10 or so variables in this light off tab. And it shows the different uh, values through a, a startup. I'm going to zoom in on the x-axis, selecting that cursor tool. And I can zoom in to the start of the light off. And then I can place cursors. And these cursors are great for seeing the actual data values um, at different times in the plot. So I've moved the blue and red cursors by dragging them. You can also click into the data and it'll move to uh, your mouse click. It shows the value of each of the pens at the blue value or the blue cursor and at the red cursor, the difference between the two values, and the time difference between the two cursors, so 12 second time difference. So that's just a quick uh, overview of how you would use StripChart OPC, and I'll have further tut tutorials explaining um, more of the features.